I wonder where we can be exploring today. Let's see, there's Atlantis. That's a little bit too wet. Ooh, what about Sky Castle? Nah, maybe it's a little too windy up there. Um, let's see, how about Ancient Egypt? A little too dry and hot. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you already came in here. Welcome to Family Friday. My name is Josh, and today we're going to be exploring the church building that is known as St. John's Episcopal Church. Now, for some of us, we have been around the building multiple times, but have you ever stopped and wondered, huh, I wonder what hidden areas are here? I'm glad that you guys are adventurous like me, because today we're going to be exploring the organ chamber with Mr. Joseph Arndt. So, grab a hat, grab a mask if you need one, and let's go and take an adventure. So everybody, now that I'm a little bit uh, six feet apart from our guest, we're going to be taking a look into the organ with Joseph Arndt over here. Say hi, Joseph. Hi. So we're going to go actually inside there and we're going to show you exactly what the organ's about. So you ready, Joseph? Sounds good. Let's go. So as you can see, it's a very, very tight space as you crawl into the back of the organ. And Joseph is, of course, an expert at all this. <laughs> I'm not an expert in crawling, but hopefully at playing the organ. Everybody, we are here inside the organ and you can see there are pipes of many different sizes. There are pipes, uh, I guess about the size of my pinky or smaller <laughs> down here. And a lot of the pipes are made of wood. And then behind Josh back here, there are pipes made of wood. So there are pipes made of metal and wood. And the tallest pipes are 16 feet. 16 feet? 16 feet, I know. Oh, wow. So, do you have to go in here every time before Sunday and make sure that everything's all good? No, we hire people to do that. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so, but I, I do like to come in here and take a look. And occasionally I might need to go and fine tune something. But, but uh, anyway, we got a really great organ here so it's in good shape and I don't need to do much except hopefully play well and practice a lot. So this organ has all kinds of shades and they work kind of like shutters outside of a window, like shutters that open and close like that. So these, sh these shades all close and that gets the sound to be softer. So I want, when I want to play nice and loud I open them from the console way back over there <laughs> where I sit and play and there are all these shades. So sometime if you're walking by the console, ask me to show you how the shades work and I'd be glad to show you. Now we're about to exit the organ and look at this. If you don't realize this, uh, there's actually a ladder that goes both up and down where Joseph's at. So it's a pretty big organ, right? So the organ is my big toy. <laughs> and I get to play it and I get to climb in it and I get to show it off to people and way back in the organ chamber where we are there are over 2,000 pipes. 2,000? Yeah it's a very complicated big toy. Wow that's almost uh, more fingers than I have. <laughs> so now that we explored the inside of the organ I want to just talk with Joseph and really ask why is it so important to have music whenever we come to worship? I think music is really important because music says what words alone cannot. And music, music expresses what we feel in our soul. It expresses things that I can't just say to God uh, as well if, as if I sing it. And I think that singing helps us remember things much more than just words do. Like when I was learning French in school, my French teacher would have us learn songs to sing along with French words. And to this day, 20 years later, I still remember some of those words. So singing teaches us our faith and it expresses our hearts in a way that just speaking doesn't. Yes, yes, and I can only imagine because I, I mean, I don't play an instrument nearly as well as you do. So can you just show us what your favorite notes would be to play? I know that you have your favorite musical pieces, but are there ones that just lift your soul up that make you feel like, you know, if you drank an early morning coffee or something like that? Well, I feel like when you think of God, you think of majesty, you think of power, right? And those are qualities I think the organ has. So 
To me, there's nothing like hearing the good hymns on an organ that has power and majesty. Wow. And what piece was that, Joseph? Just that was, so I can break a note. That was Ode to Joy by Beethoven. You, we usually sing it to joyful, joyful Leah Dorothy. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Joseph, for taking some time just to spend with us. And you have a wonderful Friday afternoon. My pleasure. Well, I don't know about you, but this was quite an adventure. I've never been inside an organ chamber before, so that was interesting to see just by itself. And of course, what uh, Mr. Joseph was talking about concerning why we sing music, I think it's very important because remember, it's all about worshiping the Lord, uh, proclaiming His majesty. And a place in the Bible where we can find that is in the Psalms, especially Psalm number 145. So. I'll read this to you and we'll call it the day. So Psalm 145 verses 17 through 21. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him. And my mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever and ever. God bless you all. And I hope that as you go throughout this week, you'll be singing a new song to the Lord, whether on an organ, a piano, a flute, maybe even a saxophone. But all of that just to make a joyous noise to God. I look forward to seeing you all next week as we continue exploring the church building.